Hey, what is going on guys? It's Cadbury, and this is going to be episode 13 of Road to Diamond. We're currently one out of two. Uh-oh. Major FPS drop. Um, what is going on with my computer? Let's close that out. Holy shit. Alright, apparently if you run a 1080p stream on your other monitor while you're trying to stream, it's fucking awful. Well, not really stream, but um, uh, record, I guess. I didn't, even ha I didn't realize it was up, and I looked over and I was looking at my... You know, my tabs on my Firefox, I was like, holy shit, but anyways, we're one out of two for, well, I guess it's best of three, but we we have one win, so we need one more to place in a di or platinum one, holy shit. It's going pretty slow, we've, we've been in the series like four or five times now. I'm just going to let my team know what's going on. Playing Volibear this game, uh, I wanted to switch it up a little bit, I'm very confident playing Volibear, so... Uh, I figured I'd play him and pick up some, what I would say is free low. Hopefully that wasn't a flash. Doesn't look like it was. And I would have, well, kind of strange. I think they're looking to do wolves. This isn't good for me. Uh, I don't think they're going to get to do doubles. Caitlyn's going to be pretty behind. Yep, so they're going to do that. I don't really think that's the best thing. Shen doesn't, Shen or TF don't really have like this amazing two. I'll be there for red. Okay, is she gonna try soloing? Oh, okay, never mind. She decided like, forget a uh, pop a pot now. I don't want to actually bite, so I want to have it up for. I hit that from her range. Awesome. You can pull it, Kate. I guess I could have used my bite. So they're already in a lane pushing. I don't think they can see the HP bar. He just wants souls. That's okay. It's fine. Take E next. Um, Q is also pretty good to take at second. Holy. That Lee going in. Red pot. So he warded already. Actually, wait. You can't buy two pots if you go red pot. So Lee has no ward on top. So that's... Like I said, I was talking about this last episode. If you see Elise in top, gank that motherfucker. Um, he's going to be aggressive. He wants to get first blood on you. He's probably one of the best level 2 champions in the game. Um, so. Got to go quick. Shen, don't die before I get there. Alright, I'm on my way up now. How did he afford a ward? Is he utility? This doesn't make sense to me. Taunt? Nah, I guess he doesn't have it. I'm wasting a lot of time here. That's very strange in my opinion. Huh. Maybe... I swear to god, last game I bought... He had two potions, unless I just didn't see that correctly. Mm-hmm. No. Alright, he got wall early. Wasted a lot of time top. I guess I saw that wrong or something. That or he's just a wizard. Um, he could have maybe had somebody ward for him. Or maybe he went into utility. But that would give you biscuit, not ward. That makes absolutely no sense. I'm not sure what was going on. I don't know why you'd ever go down utility on Lee Sun. Alrighty. So we got Thresh bot lane. I, gotta, I could just spend a lot of this time farming. That guy's going to die. He pulled that card earlier. Holy shit, he had so much time. I think he went past gold twice. Oh, I'm gonna flash that. That fucking stun range is so long. Oh, bad call on my part. Who got the first blood? Anivia did. Not good. Yeah, the animation is really strange. Alright, let's head back up here. I'm still convinced that he didn't have a ward. He just assumed it was coming. Um, so they trade on bot lane. I don't think he should continue to pursue that. He definitely has to. He just plays extremely passive when I get up there. So he has a ward. I, I must have just miscalculated. Unless he's crying about it. <laughs> That's going to solve everything. Um, let's get this. 
this. Alright, so we're just handing out freebies now. Uh, he's a full level ahead of me, because he's gotten two successful ganks off. Um, and he's going to clear out that pink ward. Damn. Uh-oh. What could I do? Wasted a lot of time top trying to gank somebody that I was pretty certain had a ward, so... TF warding up now, that's good. It's alright. Once TF hits 6, he has a lot more impact on the game. I might actually have to take the first... Um, the first blue away from TF. Just to catch up in this game. Alright, so I can use Smite right there. It'll be up in time for red buff. 70 second cooldown. And can I buy this yet? Yeah, I can. It's not like a major purchase, but... Yeah. I can go do doubles and then recall, because nothing else would really be up. But I'm going to choose the recall now. My red will be up in about a minute, so I can do doubles and then go there. In the time it takes me to run the doubles, kill them, my red should be up. Maybe even go bottom. Oh, why'd she back off? She just boned Shen so hard. Alright. <clears throat> we can dragon. Go dragon. We gotta do it. There's five top. Or two top. Sorry. Well, five top. I don't have smite for 15. But yeah, see, what they're doing is smart. He realizes, like, I ain't fucking making it there. And he started blue, too. So I might not even smite this if I'm feeling real stupid. Uh, Shen can tank it, because he's going to be going back to base to defend his top lane. It's fine, and I'm going to steal away this. And I started red, so that won't be up for him. And if we can deny Anivia this blue... Good word by him. It's going to help me out. This is really smart of him. All right, so not a bad trade at all. We get we get a kill. Click lantern. Um, we get a kill. We get dragon, and he's gonna die. Throw the card. He's dead. He can't do anything. I'm not sure why he's trying. Got to keep an eye on these two. And now bot's gonna get pressured hard. Alright, so Jarvan just checked their blue. I want to get to ours as soon as possible. Secure that. But TF is... Mm, TF's rotating out. I'm going to go warded, actually. Because if Jarvan sees TF bottom, he should make the play call to go to our blue. At least that's what I would do. If I saw their mid... Okay, looks like he's going to not go anymore. I'm not really sure. Whatever, I'll just ward it. He's middle. He realizes there's no play, so... Wow, Jarvan's 7 and I'm 5. I, I'm extremely far behind. He's uh, 2 and one He pushed top lane down, so... CS-wise, he's not that far ahead, but... He's had 3 successful ganks to my 0. Let's try to get this to him. Even if Jarvan takes it, at least the Nibia's not getting it. Alright. Should be able to... Alright, that works out. Mm, can't buy that yet. I'm actually going to go mobilities this game. I need to get some pressure on the map. I usually don't do this, uh, because you get really, you get really weak. Um, you're actually extremely weak. But the, the the plus side is if things do go well for you, it's like a gamble, I guess. If things go well for you, you can absolutely destroy the map. But if they don't, like, you're set miles back, so. There's Jarvan. All right, so I assume there was a ward. Okay, there's a ward in this area. Uh, the reason I can tell that is just by Jarvan's rotation. There's no reason he'd rotate for no reason. Actually, only had bottom. 
Come on, TF, throw a damn card. Oh my sweet lord. Yo, Shen, we can kill it. No, we can't. We hesitated really hard on that. Uh, my passive plus Shen, if we swapped aggro, I think we would have killed her. Um, but we, you know, screwed that up. That was my bad. I, I saw Jarvan rotating over here, and I figured he was just making a move onto the, um... Making a move on our mid lane, or closing onto me, counter ganking pretty much, but he was actually just going bottom, so... Uh, bad choice on my part. That guy is dead. I don't know why, like... He's he's playing really poor. The Nivea is playing well. I don't want to. I don't even want to say that. That's just you know. He's got to be more aware of cooldowns and his HP. How much mana Nivea has? He has to be much more aware of all this stuff, and he's not. I'm not gonna get like any of these if Thresh keeps hitting him. So he just blew like four last hits for me. Which would have been enough for a ruby. Uh-oh. No way. Wow. Really risky recall. So over here, I think we could have had... We could probably killed the Anivia there, but TF was afraid. Lee's hanging out. Lee doesn't win that lane anymore. Shen's too far. But, alright, Dragon's up in a minute. Okay, so Jarvan's, wow, he's got some items on him already. And since I don't have any tenacity, especially against an Anivia, um, and let's see who their support was. Janna, alright, so that's not too bad, but I definitely want some tenacity. A Janna, or a Anivia stun will pretty much put me out of anything that we try to do. So this guy's level 10. So pretty much our mid lane's the only one really suffering. Top's dominating. Um, bot lane is doing all right. They're down like a couple CS, like three. It's not like they're down a lot, but they're, they're down. All right, Jarvan's bot. Um, I don't know if we win this. With TF ult, like, I think we could win it. Okay, this is good. Really bad spot to call. Like, that was really bad. Um, I don't really agree with that. I think he should have gone farther out. Hmm, we can't do it. Just close mid, just go mid. TF lost his lane really hard. Alright, that guy's gonna get out for free. Hopefully, Thresh is aware of where everybody is. So we lost the tower for a kill. Not really that good of a trade. Let's see what we can do. Shen's... Like, once Shen gets on fire, that Lee Sin's just useless. And Lee Sin's, I think, rushing a Last Whisper? Uh, maybe a Tiamat, actually. He might be rushing the Tiamat. That's actually a common build I've seen lately. So we'll see what he does with that. Um, she rushed an Avarice. So I'm not really concerned. I do have a Smite up, but the fact that Dragon is up and we don't have a bot lane there, I want to be able to contest it. So can I buy this? 825, dear lord. I get a pink. 600 to IE, so Kate's very far ahead of him. SMF's just kind of playing a farm game. She's 1 and 4. Like I said, the big, the big, big, their big factor is that Anivia. She's insanely strong. Um, level 11. Uh, just has incredible items already. That's an Anivia. Gotta be very careful about where I walk. The Anivia will 
probably like one shot me. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna waste the ward here. No, I'm not. Bot, whoa, bot, you had a lot of. TF's got to push hard. I'm gonna head bottom, help my team out. Uh, for all we know, Jarvin's there. Yo, back up, back up, back up. Holy shit. We have no sight on, like, Anivia's really strong. We have no sight on their other two members. For all we know, there's five people waiting down here. Um, so we gotta play like that. You don't wanna, you always wanna play, like I said, a lot of people say always play like the jungler's there. I always say play like, or don't play like, always play like the jungler's not there. I say play like the jungler's always there. Because you never fucking know. But now we have vision on two of them. We have vision on everybody now, actually. And, you know, we're um, just that much more dominant, I guess, in that sense. Um... Alright, this is good. He's dead. What? Are you blue card king! Blue card king! Uh, I don't think this guy plays a lot of TF. I'm gonna have to assume that. Uh, judging by... Uh, how he plays. Alright, so my passive goes off. They're gonna head bottom. Now I'm just gonna recall right over here. Just, I'm not gonna sit here and flame him and be like, you're, you're playing retarded. Because granted he is, but you just gotta tell him like, hey, you're playing fine. Just, you know, try to limit your mistakes. Um, I don't even know what to build. So, I'm not... Really worried about MF. Their biggest threat is Anivia. I guess Lee Sin could beat the shit out of me since he rushed the last Whisper. It's kind of smart on his part. He's actually going to be doing damage to Shen, but I don't think it'll be enough. I think Shen will still have damage in between Sunfire and just his natural kit. So that's that. Uh, did he just throw a random Q? He did. I don't have passive. I got to be very aware of what I'm doing when I gank. Alright. Bot. I think... Yep. So I can't get there in time. Um, I'm just gonna let them know. Give them a good idea. So yeah, just let it fall. It's very smart. Alright, he's dead as fuck. He's extremely dead. He's got jukes. Nice flash by him. Alright, just, just push, just push. Good juke by him, he flashed. It's completely worth, why is he backing off? If Lee stays, he'll die. Alright. Caitlyn stayed to die for some reason. And now they're gonna put two on the bottom. Um, so Lee, okay, Lee did the smart thing there, whereas Caitlyn did the stupid thing. Caitlyn died, and now Lee died, and he, we're gonna end up giving up multiple objectives for this. And, as you can see, mid's being pushed. Everything's being pushed um, because Caitlyn died. So we lose an inner tower here. Shen gets a double kill. Maybe a triple? No. Um, and Nivea, you know, I guess a kill and what else did we lose? A kill and a tower for a tower. Actually, we won that. In a way, we won that. In a way, I would say it's even because we lost an inner tower for an outer tower. Um, but like I said... When you're in that situation where they're just pressing on there, like, that's good by J4. He's not, like, you know, he's just putting pressure on the map. He's not looking to kill them, but he managed to pick up a kill because Caitlyn played it poorly, so. Uh, I know this guy has no flash, so I'm just going to go right on to him. There's no reason we shouldn't kill this. TF coming up. Oh my god, this guy... Poor fucking guy. We just put the whole team on them. Uh, Shen, what is he doing? 403, 146 CS? Jesus, this guy is... This guy's a beast right now. Uh, I'm gonna pick up Aegis first because, like I said, their biggest threat right now is Anivia. 
Um, at least send candy damage to me, but Nivea's just, I mean, she has Rod and Archangel's done already. Uh, right now we are down a tower. We're up two dragons. We got four kills on them. Uh, CS-wise, oh, we're doing pretty good, actually. Nivea's ahead a little bit, but for me or you, I don't care if Kate takes it. Kate's actually doing really well. I'm not going to bother wasting anything on it. Make it to these. I'm just going to hit this one so I can keep the, the W passive going. Alright, now what we need to do is be very smart about our plays. Oh my damage. I'm highly assuming that they have a ward somewhere up here. Most people will, uh... Hmm. Why didn't we respond? So that push is warded. The way, just the way MF turned the corner, it just showed that it was warded. Um, so I'm gonna buy a pink ward. Um, we need to rotate down here. Shen is pushing without ultimate, which is fine because nobody can fight him. So he's either going to take a tower or force numbers. So he forces J4 up there. That's fine. Um, okay, she gets me the knockup. What do you do? It's completely fine. That's not completely fine. Shen's going to die before the ult comes in. Oh my god, he didn't. Oh my god, that was dishing damage. A lot of oh my god's being thrown out there. Uh, I'm gonna be over this wall just in case of the flash. Awesome. Um, so four for one, really good trade. I'm actually shocked that Shenault made it through. Um, just for the fact that you know alting on a squishy is always risky because they're squishy and they're normally gonna die. Take mid and D top. Yeah. That's a good call. We could have maybe Baron, but it's really damn risky. Is anyone going to make there? Alright, I guess I will. He's going to back off. And he could take that fine. What does he have? Lich Bane? Nope. Hourglass. So I'm going to check this blue buff. Uh, because if I can deny a Nivea blue, like, that's more... Honestly, that's worth more than Dragon at this point. Which it's not up, so... Um, Are they heading here? Do I want to drop this pink to make sure? No, I think we'll be okay. Actually, hmm. I'm going to back it out just in case. Alright, they just warded right there. No, I should have warded. Really, really lazy by me. Oh, uh, J4 was there. I will die right here. Hmm, now I'm just buying time. They're gonna kill Lee Sin. Passive? Alright, one for one. We lost Dragon. That's my fault. Uh. So, I should have just warded Dragon. We shouldn't have done it anyway. Um. Sorry, I didn't want to. We should know all the. Alright. So, we lost Dragon a kill, but. We end up taking top, so tower for dragon and one for one. Poor decision on my part. Uh, it was greedy. I should have warded that right off the bat. Get this. Who's MF starting to do some damage? So obviously after I finish bulwark, I'll go into lock it or like ran probably Randuins. Um, Randuins is really strong right now. It's always been strong. What am I talking about? Alright, we're putting good damage down on this. TF, once he gets Lich Bane, like, that's the build. Lich Bane into uh, Hourglass. Your damage output's really good. Your, like, how safe you are in terms of... I think Shen can 2v1 these guys. They're being really stupid and overchasing. Ooh. 
Who's he going for? Did I just do damage right there? <laughs> what? We can get an inhib off this. Oh my god, I just bit that J4 for like, 4 damage I think. Alright, so this is the biggest thing right here. This is where people are like, don't take buffs, just back. Alright. So, this is like a discipline thing. It's like, oh, we can get a red buff or a blue buff, or let me clear the rates out. Like, this is what loses a lot of games. And I, I'm very much guilty of it myself. It's like, I have to do this. And it's like, no, you don't. You have to get back to base, heal up, get your items, because oftentimes they'll just rush Baron or, you know, catch somebody out stealing red. Like, there's so many reasons why you don't want to steal their buffs afterwards. Obviously, if you look at the death timers and you're like, we got 20 seconds. Go ahead, because by the time you take their buffs and recall, they're just respawning, and you'll be able to make it to um, Baron at the same time as them. No, my neighbors have started weed whacking and leaf blowing and mowing their lawns again. <laughs> I think it's a chainsaw this time. No, that's not a chainsaw. That's a, that's a weed whacker. Alrighty, so we do have the advantage. Um, right now, the best thing... Yes, he's got an oracle. Best thing you can do when you pick up an inhibitor is buy a fucking oracle. Um, and I say a fucking oracle, not just an oracle, is because it opens up the whole fucking map. Like, you're baiting them out. That just shows that that's not warded. Um, can see a fault on this? No, no, not that. Yeah, okay. I think if he reacted quicker, we could have had that. A uh, blue card. Uh, so sorry for the background noise, guys, but we're already 27 minutes into this. I'm not going to cut the video up just because of that. It's tempting, but I decided not to. We should clear around. Kate need to be with us. Alright, buying PD Last Whisper. That's worth it, but she should have done that earlier. Um, J J4 is just going to keep checking us. It's fine. He's a full item up on me, so he's a lot further ahead than me. Um, 134 CS to 88, and obviously he's got, you know... A little bit of kills and assists going on as well. Um, Shen can just split bottom. Five block. Alright. So we wasted a, probably a minute, a minute and a half. Just just letting Caitlyn farm out. Meanwhile, we had the advantage the whole time. Uh, obviously, buying big items is worth it. But when you're already beating them in fights without buying, there's no reason to go back and buy. Just continue to pressure the map uh, fully for the fact that they have, like... They have an inhibitor. They have to have somebody in the mid lane pushing it out constantly. Like, Anivia has to be there constantly. Alright. Let's go then. Um, so, Caitlyn's been doing absolutely nothing. That's the biggest thing. Gotta wait for Kate. Alright, I'm just gonna start it. Alright, they're coming over here. Anivia's bottom. They're making their, their move over. Uh, I'm gonna die at this rate. Yes. Oh, shit. Just slow. Stop DPS. Stop DPS. That's what I meant. Alright, so I failed my smite. My fault. But, um, I stopped DPS for a complete... Uh, for reasoning of let's kill MF. Alright, I'm gonna die here. That's okay. He'll die too. The Weed Whacker! Going in way too hard. He might get away? No, he's gonna die. Go top. So I'm just gonna congratulate him. Nice smite, whatever. I screwed up. Uh, I should have used my smite a lot earlier. Uh, but like I said, my, my thought process was stop DPS, kill the kill the Jarvan, and then I'll then we'll finish it. Just let my T. I, I don't even need to let my. Like, that's just making excuses. Just miscommunication. <clears throat> Nivea's up, and that's gonna be. What are you doing? That's not worth it. You lost Baron buff, and. That's not worth it in any way, shape, or form. 
Wang, wang. I think somebody's got getting a hard on. Only Baron, yeah. That's fine. We we still wasted a lot of time there. That's the biggest thing. So like the inhibs up, and we got what a tower out of it. Not really worth. Mm. I'm so upset right now. All I want to do is record. All right. That's just like so unnecessary. Shen doesn't have ultimate. We gotta. All right, this is really bad. This is real. That Nivia wall just saved us. All right, we just threw. If you don't have ultimate, you don't split. So. Between my failed Baron Smite and Shen in bottom lane without ultimate, we just gave up a free inhibitor. Really, really bad. And every single person still has their ultimate up. The throws are very strong this game. That's fucking annoying the shit out of me now. Before it was just like, oh, whatever, I'll just talk over it. Now it's just like, fuck you. <laughs> I understand they're just doing their job. Pick a target. Anyone. He doesn't get it. So now we're at the disadvantage. They have an inhibitor on us. Um, 6-1 Shen, 6-3. Let's just go mid, yeah. There's no reason Shen should be by himself. Just go with us. He's just single mindset. His only mindset is split push. Got to split push. So now we risk that he just, um, you know, someone gets bursted. That's what we risk now. Someone gets bursted and Shen's ult doesn't work. Or they just collapse onto him. Why are you running to Shen? What the hell? We could have just... Oh my god, that was... That was really bad. Now we're really split and like... Uh, this is sloppy, to say the least. Caitlyn, use your range, it helps. That's a really bad choice. Oh, uh, Lee Sen missed. Alright, this might not be too bad. Yes, it stopped. But we're going to lose at least one player right here. Nope, I lied. It didn't stop at all. Are they going to look to end it here? They may, actually. Thresh down for that long. If they tank this, they're stupid as hell. Now, they're going to rotate top and pick up a free tower. Easy tower. Kate, six fifty range. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there it goes. Uh, apparently, Kate's lagging hard as fuck. Yeah, that's true. Caitlyn hasn't said anything. I'm just being upset because she's using melee range. So this was thrown by just 
poor communication in terms of Baron, me, like, me failing my smite. We'll just, I gotta stop making excuses, I failed smite. Um, uh, mechanical, Shen splitting without ultimate. Um, them capitalizing on advantages, people getting caught out, etc. Bird passive down. Yeah, we're also down two inhibs, so... Well, bird passive may be down. It's We're at the disadvantage here. Um, I'm really, really, really underleveled this game. I do have flash up. Who knows? Like I said, the next fight wins this game. Or the next, like, big fight, I guess. A little skirmish, someone... Group a TF and catch someone. Hopefully Shen won't split without his ult again. I think mid will be coming up shortly. Baron's up. We gotta get a ward on that. Uh. Nope. Oh, hello. Jeez, he's so far ahead of me. It's like, almost disgusting. So, we're giving up Baron for free, I guess. That's what we're saying. Yep, I guess we're deciding to just give it up. Oh, no. Alright, my fault. I'm out of position. Lee dropped the ward, kicked me back to his team. I could have flashed, but I don't think I would have survived either way. Um, I was way too busy, or way too concerned with the fact that my team was just not in position. See here, couldn't use Don't ever face check with TF ulti. Alright, so we're just gonna give that back to him. That's my fault. Way out of position. Volley bear hurt me this game. Is this gonna be three in him? Yeah, very well could be. That Anivia is so strong. We have to fight for this. Like, if we go down three inhibs, fight. Alright, it's gone. We lost. Once you're down three inhibs, you're, you're not coming back. I hate to say it, but... They're just gonna kill, like... They kill Shen faster than we kill Jarvan. Then I just did nothing in that fight. I just ran around. So, I'm very uh, certain that this game's over. You don't come back from three inhibs unless the other team just... Really, 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 really screws it up. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll take this. Well, no, she's too fast. Hmm. We lost the Nexus turret. I guess that's okay. Do you have an Aegis too? Yep. Yeah. Double bull Double work, wow. So, off this, MF could get some serious farm, and that might put us in a good spot. Alright, so he's a locket of Iron Solari ahead of me. How much farm does he have? 156, so he's up 40 CS, and... We've pretty much been part of the same amount of kills. They got two barons on us, but we have three dragons on them. I'm not really sure how many it is. Let's just see how this plays out. You never know. Um, TF. Got a good build going on now. He does some serious damage. So does Kate. Oh my god, we have three bulwarks? We itemized just atrociously this game. Like, this is the worst itemizations in the game. Three bulwarks, that's so much wasted gold. That's that's part of, like, miscommunication and just not looking at each other's items. So, like I said, having two isn't that bad because they stack up. Having three is just like, yeah... If I'm, if I'm not close to Shen, I'm still close to Thresh, getting the passive, I guess, but it's not worth it. Alright, so we're about to have a respawn in head. 
If they're smart, they're just gonna slow play this out. He hooks that. Oh, it's the top one. Oh. Holy shit, damage. I might die to ignite. So this game was just thrown off of poor decisions, uh, poor mechanical stuff, itemization, um, good plays on their part. The black box. Mm. Ah! Let me live! Alrighty, so... A lot to work on from this game. Uh, like I said, that those early ganks on Lee Sin where it was warded. Like I said, I, I still swear to God I saw him with two pots, and that doesn't make sense. You start off with 450 gold. So he would have... He had red pot, which is 350 plus ward. That's 425. No, you start with 475s. Sorry. Nice Baron steel. All right. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.